Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jay Rhodes, award-winning music producer from Dallas, Texas. Let me ask y'all a question, though. What do you get when you get 10 of the dopest up-and-coming producers in one house? Put them through a Marriott of crazy challenges all for $1,000 in cash, a crazy prize package, and a chance to work with the legendary Talib Kweli. Some may call it a dream, but we label it the House of Beats. Come walk with us inside to see what's up. House of Beats, the first, the, the first, first reality TV show for music producers. We saw a void of shows really focusing on the music creators in the industry, the producers. So we got 10 of the dopest up and coming music producers, put them through some challenges, and made the best producer win. House of Beats is stationed in Dallas, my hometown, so I'm proud of that. But the producers came from all over. It was just crazy exciting times in the House of Beats, man. So the first competition that we put together was called the It Factor. Imagine you had to play a beat to save your life. If your life depended on it, if it's dope, you live. If it's whack, you die. What beat would that be? My name is uh, Don P. Place of birth is Nottingham, England. Uh, I'll say my style is aggressive and raw. My favorite producer is DJ Premier because uh, he sounds or like raw and his like his drums are dirty and I just it's, it's a hip hop boom bap feeling and I've always been a fan of boom bap. Uh, my favorite beat, Nas is like, produced by DJ Premier. Or well, the door that I use is Machine, Machine Micro. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so, um, let's see what you got. Okay. Straight to it. Trash. Now I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit was that shit was very very fire. So yeah. just if you, all I would say is keep that same energy. You're just gonna be one of the, the dopest. That 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 shit is that shit is super fire. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, it. Man. That was nice, bro. I like I like how you pulled in that 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 energy and that thing was just. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that was just mm. it had a groove to it. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Super aggressive, man. Super aggressive. I, I definitely like them drums they hit. That's what I'm talking about for the it factor. Play something that's gonna give somebody energy, make somebody wanna punch somebody. Play something that's gonna invoke some emotion. Don P really did his thing, and it's gonna be tough for somebody to top that. That's what I'm talking about. House of Beats, baby. I did feel good because uh, I already knew, you know, what I was gonna present. And I looked at the judges' faces, and they really, they enjoyed it. They enjoyed everything that I, you know, that I displayed for them. My name is Ivory. I'm professionally known as TFO. I am from Dallas, Texas. My style is hip hop, kind of trap a little bit. You know, um, I've been told it's a little weird, eclectic, just a different vibe, so that's me. My favorite producer is Zaytoven. I like his style, but more so I like his work ethic and I like his uh, business style too. Favorite beat ever is actually uh, The Roots, what they do. That beat, the song itself is just a vibe and so, it's one of my favorites. The dog that I use is FL Studio. I'm in it to win it with that, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna get into um, the beat that represents you. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got. All right.
let me and let me be totally honest. Like I've heard gotcha. a lot of your stuff. I think all your stuff is great. Mm -hmm. I think this uh beat. I've honestly in my for this kind of round, I've heard you play some stuff that was more banging. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And don't 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 get it twisted. There's no knock or whatever. I think you know. I think you have a Mike Will type of sound, which is dope. But okay. this one, I could hear more of like a song with an artist on it. I felt it was uh, a little open to where you know what I'm saying. There's some more sounds that you possibly could have put in there because I mean it is a little open and maybe if you had that vocal in there it'll fill in some of that space mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying just listening to it like that feels like you know from a producer point yeah. you could have stabbed something else in there you know gotcha. what I'm saying yeah, just, just a couple of changes in there a couple of little breakdowns um, I like the vibe on it it seems like a riding song okay you mm -hmm. know but yeah other than that like an artist being on it or either just adding some more elements into it Absolutely. switching up a little bit one beat can be a dope beat that can be on billboards. Another beat can be a better beat by itself, but maybe an artist can't rap on it or whatever. Who knows? I'm just saying that it's a balance with this. And so it's going to be hard to uh, judge and, and grade because so many of producers are dope and they bring so many different styles to the table. But with TFO's beat, I would really say that it's uh, it could be a tight single to me. You know what I'm saying? I can already hear an artist kind of really vibing to that because it left space for the artist. But at the same time, if it's the if factor and if we're just playing a beat, I think she kind of understands like how we were grading it and what we meant by that. So I'm kind of uh, anxious to see what the other producers play as well. I chose a beat called I Believe. Um, I felt in a sense that it represented me, but I know I also have some more you know, heat up under me too. So I'm pretty confident about that. I love the feedback that I got, you know, it helped me to know more of what I need to bring for this as far as adding more transitions and things like that. So, I mean, it's so far the experience is really good, so I'm enjoying myself. My name is Daniel with Jedediah Productions. I'm from Beaumont, Texas. I would say my style is clean and polished and timeless. Oh, wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> wrong word. My favorite beat is um, in my Cadillac uh, ESG, Slim Thug and uh, Bun B, because uh, that song, the, uh, the the guitar solo inspired me to learn how to play guitar. The DAW uses Logic because I feel like it's a happy medium between something like FL and something like uh, Pro Tools, so I can do everything in one DAW with Logic. I've been using it since version seven. Let's just get straight to it, man. All right, Let's get straight to all right. it, see what you got. super fire man i think it was uh, that. it was a it was a vibed out type of joint so really like like i even talked to, to to my uh my judging compadres and we said you know we only gonna critique where it's needed like uh -huh. i think the mix was great i think it's just the it was it was the it was the perfect beat for the type of beat it was i really i really have no other critique for it it was a, it was a very good um very good production i really don't have much either man. i love that like you said that offbeat that like, change it up <laughs> 
That was that was dope. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah, and I love the filter, the filters that you use. Right. I just I would want to hear artists on that. Mm-hmm. I exactly. think that would just exactly. bring it all together. Awesome. Yeah. I think yeah, and awesome. I think yeah, that is a beat that's made. Yeah. I think the last instrument on that beat would be an artist. And it's, work, it's right. stuff, I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Music for me, especially with beats, is does it evoke an emotion? And those chords and the way he switched it up with the drums and all of that, you can't help but to do a thumbs up, you know what I mean? Because it's just the emotion that the music evokes. So that's what I'm looking for in this competition, music that brings out emotion in me. Yeah, the the beat was Take a Trip, and it was was meant for something, and it's like the artist I made it for, it wasn't really feeling it. And so I was like, this beat needs to go somewhere because it's, it's definitely one of my better beats. So. I'm from Dorita, Louisiana. I go by the name of Dre Love, Andre Lovely. So I just went with the last name. I DJ, so I don't really have a sound. It's a gumbo of sound. So, but I will say I'm a melody guy first. So I build around my melody and layer the drums over that. So. Uh, my favorite producer is Ryan Leslie. I'm a big fan of musicianship. So I just like what he brings to the table with that. You know, he is a musician and that's what I strive to be. Uh, my favorite beat, uh, Drake Tuscan Leather. I can run that song a thousand times a day. All right. So yeah, yeah, we're right there. We gonna um, we gonna get right into it. So here we go. you have a sound and you and it's very intentional like I think that's a uh, that's a testament to you know of, of producing itself because you have a sound and you know what you're trying to create you know what I'm saying so all I would say is in, um, in, in some of the joints you know going forward like I say just uh, try to figure out what that last element could be I like the space of that, that you left too for like you know what I'm saying if you got an artist that can come in there that it's, it's a lot of room in there what you yeah, did yeah, exactly. you know what I'm saying but as far as like that being that a slam dunk track, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like, I would have played this for another challenge, okay. you know what I'm saying? But it's dope as hell. Yeah, and I like, like I said, I like I like the sounds you chose. I like all of that. I love the piano and the, the synth line that you put in there. That was dope. Only thing that I would suggest is like maybe, and this is your sound, so you do what you want, but if you threw like a little 808 or something in there that made it bang a little bit harder, like that's it. Other than that, the joint's dope. Good money, bro. <laughs> good money. <laughs> good money, bro. So to me, the joint is great. Dre has a real dope style, you know. At the same time, it factor, the whole criteria is a beat that you had to play uh, if your life depended on it. As nice as the beat was and it could have been with an artist, I think he could have really revved it up for the beat alone to uh, hold a little bit more weight, but uh, got a lot of competition left and I'm excited to see what he has. I think it's called 2012 D-Flow. Like, I'm from Dorita, Louisiana, so I think that was something I inspired myself when I was thinking about high school or something like that. I graduated in 2012, yeah. so like I just went with that. Yeah. I, felt, I felt pretty confident going in. I wasn't really uh, knowing what they were expecting or looking you know, for the beat. It seemed like they were looking more so for like battle stuff and stuff like that, but me knowing having, you know, what they want going forward, I think we're gonna make something happen. My name is Rasheen Briggs. I go by Dirty Snares, and I'm from Flint, Michigan. I'll describe my style as uh, boom bap, soulful. Um, 20 years from now, I want you to be able to play my music and be like, yo, it's still jam, so. My favorite producer is Just Blaze. Uh, one of my favorite tracks by Just Blaze was um, I Really Mean It um, by The Diplomats. The way his sample game is, is just really aggressive, really soulful, and that's what kind of inspired me to start making beats. The doll that I use is Ableton Push 2. 
I come from an MPC background and the push to allows me to chop my samples the way um, I need them to be chopped. All right, so we just gonna get right into it, man. I like the boom bap feel, the element, you know, that's kind of something that I like right there. Um, I think if you could have changed it up just a little bit, okay. that would have took it over the top. But okay. for the most part, it's solid. Okay. Yeah, that's the, that's the same only critique that I have with it is that um, I think it went from a, a, a 10 to an 8 okay. just due to the fact that, like, because when you first hear it, you, you bang it and it's crazy. But, like, uh, you know, especially when a beat is played alone, you kind of want it to tell you know what I'm saying, more of a story than the same one. So it's okay. when, once it hits, it's right. there, but then it just it just stays right there and it kind of plateaus. Now, don't get it twisted with the artists on it. Mm -hmm. right. They could take it there or whatever, but when you're just mm -hmm. playing beats, keep in mind that, you know what I'm saying, you want the artist to fall in love with it before they rap on it, you know? Right. So uh, I just think just maybe like a drop here, a little change here and kind of, you know, keep your style, but just kind of uh, a few more movements, you know, could really, really benefit that. But it sounds real good though. Yeah, that's like kind of like what they said, a little bit more dynamic. Cause I almost started rapping when that joint came out. <laughs> Real, Bars. Real. Right. But yeah, right. just a little bit more dynamics in the change of it, bro. That's it's yeah. See, Dirty Snares, he has that real boom bap sound, and I really dig the beat. But sometimes the problem with those joints is that you don't take it as an individual production to the next level. Since there are no lyrics, it just stays in its place. So with that, I think for this It Factor challenge and uh, challenges going forward, I need him to have the beat start like that and um, give me that vibe, but I also need him to level up and level up and level up in his productions. But it's gonna be interesting to see what he has going forward. I felt pretty good. Um... You know, Higher Path was a beat I'd done um, a little bit ago, and it kind of encompasses what um, I stand for. You know, it's that boom bap, real soulful, make an impact. The critique was accurate, you know. Um, I do know that the, the beats need to have some type of movement in there, so um, going forward, I make sure I have those movements in there. I'm kind of nervous about it because, so the, the, the one thing that's making me the most nervous is the fact that uh, I had to borrow a laptop for this because I use a desktop at home. And so it was like, you know, I had to load up Logic and just try to get a few sounds in there. So it'll be, I think it's going to be a good thing because it's going to force me to, to like think outside the box and be more creative I mean, when there's limitations as always more creativity but yeah i am excited about it i really am i this is something that i thank god for this opportunity so i'm gonna enjoy it. i'm gonna bring my a game and just have a good time like it was a humbling experience man like i'm glad to be here it's a win in itself so yeah. um everything that i get far as critique wise um i'm gonna make sure i apply it going forward right now i feel good right now i feel good i mean going going i still feel good about going you know moving forward so yeah, I do feel good. That's the first episode of House of Beats. We got a whole bunch of dope producers, different styles from different backgrounds, different cities, just coming together, vibing together, building together, but you know, also competing for all the prizes that we're giving them. And even though it's a lot of love in the house, it's still a lot of competition in the house because somebody gotta win this thing. Next week, we got five more producers competing in the It Factor Challenge. Um, I'm excited, man. I can't wait to hear what they drop. This is what it's all about right here, House of Beats.